very warm welcome to one and all to this open session come and witness session on the topic personal protective equipment by dr jayesh jogati regional director ethno regional center kochi on behalf of all myself dr prasita on nutritional director ethno regional center kochi warmly welcome each one of you to this session as an historical perspective this just let me share you few details about the innovation club activities at ethno regional center kochi the innovation club at regional center kochi was initiated under the encouragement of the national center for innovation in distance education that is nciit ethno where in a series of monthly lectures clubbed with the grievance redressal session identified as open session from enrichment session is being held at ethno regional center kochi since september 2018 in fact the sessions are being held with an objective to enrich and generate awareness amongst the learners of ethno on a wide range of topics scattering from um, uh, career management to understanding human rights in contemporary society and a wide range of other topics through the sessions the learners are made aware about the various issues uh, of the society and motivated to think innovatively generate ideas and embark on a path which could lead to the future development of the nation the regional ethno regional center kochi has so far conducted around 52 open sessions come enrichment sessions since 2018 and today we have a very uh, renowned resource person dr j s jyoti madam with us who is also the regional director of ethno regional center kochi and she would be uh, madam is a uh, very uh, good orator and she uh, has a vast experience in the field of education and she would be speaking on the topic personal protective equipments to our learners so on behalf of all i warmly welcome dr j s jyoti madam to kindly deliver her talk on this session welcome to the session again first let me start off what is ppe that is personal protective equipment the ppe abbreviation is universal and it refers to the personal protective equipment which is a type of clothing or equipment that protects the wearer from injury or infection so two terminologies you have to remember one is injury another one is infection and it is personal protective equipment ppe so it can also be used to protect against variety of hazards including the physical hazards the electrical hazards the heat chemical hazards the bio hazards and airborne particulate matter so in this slide if you ask me what you have to remember is injury or infection personal protective equipment and what is the role of personal protective equipment it is uh, it is a equipment worn to minimize exposure to hazards that causes serious workplace injuries and illnesses these injuries and illnesses may result from contact with chemical radiological physical electrical mechanical or other workplace hazards so when you see the previous slide that is i asked you to remember two words injury or infection it is coming again in this slide and ppe that is personal protective equipment protects us from injuries or in uh, or illnesses only when it is worn and it is the ppe that is the personal protective equipment is designed to protect the user or wearer from health and safety risks caused at the workplace here the workplace can be either the real employment purpose uh, uh, the revenue generating economic activity based workplace or even your home when you are doing the cleaning process it becomes a workplace 
so the terminology workplace refers to where you are doing that activity of either cleaning or health related activity or safety risk related activity uh, the injuries may occur to the person in contact with chemical physical electrical mechanical or other workplace hazards and each for example slipping in the kitchen or in the bathroom and falling down is also a workplace hazard so each ppe that is the personal protective equipment has a specific use and it is made of specialized material the ppe includes safety helmets gloves eyeglasses ear plugs full body swifts vest hard hats safety footwear and respiratory protective equipment there always be uh, there is a different uh, there is a terminology called ppc that is personal protective clothing and personal protective equipment so what is the meaning of ppe and ppc it is common for us to call the protective clothing as protect personal protective equipment but actually it should be ppc that is personal protective clothing as ppe that is personal protective equipment is typically worn for health and safety purposes so whereas ppc is worn for food safety purposes and what is the relevance of ppc the personal protective equipment it is in industry in health food preparation housekeeping sanitation so the equipments which are used we may spread across these uh, spheres of uh, um, uh, purpose but their commonness will remain the same so uh, where the variety of ppe for all needs and conditions uh, are available and depending upon uh, a work which you are taking you need more than one um, equipment also to be in your hand so the common types of ppe are hard hats gloves safety glasses eye goggles ear muffs or ear plugs work boots or protective footwear respirators hazmat suits and the, and the reason you need is that due to the type of risk you are exposed to at work the risk include the electrical shock mechanical assets to limb digital head so slipping down or getting hurt while using a, a cobwebbing equipment is all mechanical assets and chemical burn or poison fire radiation exposure flooding or drowning the examples of uh, personal protective equipment i am just giving some more gloves gowns shoe covers head covers mask respirators eye protection face shields and hard hats the type of ppe that is selected depends upon the potential risk of exposure to the hazard for example ear plugs or muffs or used to protect the ears from hearing problem or loss of hearing and need for personal protective equipment protecting ourselves so that we can continue to help others is the priority for health providers around the world and it is extended to anyone who is doing some work which is of benefit to others so this includes being conscious and up to date with the infection prevention and control measures and the appropriate implementation of personal protective equipment hand hygiene and waste management of potentially harmful materials so who that is world health organization defined personal protective equipment as garments placed to protect the healthcare workers or any other person to get infected so this is a simple def definition of injury uh, illness and protecting the person who is doing the work this is what you have to carry that message so far in the slide here see so there is one hierarchy of safety and health controls which will help you to understand of what is the various control which is needed for doing it at your uh, level one is training and administrative controls so Uh, how you can train somebody to be efficient in using ppe 
and how best you can use the administrative control that is compulsory using of a certain PPE uh, by way of uh, policies and procedures by training healthcare professionals and uh, also in uh, using procedures to identify patients with communicable diseases and the engineering control such as negative pressure rooms for patients with the airborne diseases and work practice control not recapping needles and also personal protective equipment it is the, at the end of the hierarchy of prevention and it is very important for protecting healthcare from healthcare workers from uh, this is transmission so the hierarchy or the types uh, uh, is given yeah, I, in uh, the later slide in the slide format it says elimination substitution engineering controls administrative controls and ppe so before looking into the uh, uh, events i just to take you to the previous slide where it says what are the types which is possible the gloves mainly see when you are coming to a sanitation or a cleaning house cleaning purpose or just a home cleaning you, you the first thing which gets dirty is your hand so gloves protects your hands from microbes and minimizes the possible spreading of microbes and mask see when you start to cough a big or just to sweep the floor immediately the first is you sneeze if you are a dust allergic person or you feel uh, you to start to respire through your mouth because your body needs more oxygen and the, uh, the flow of air in the respiratory passage is getting uh, controlled because of the pollution of the mud which you are sweeping. So cover your mouth and nasal area with mask and some mask may have a see-through plastic piece which also covers our eyes that is a shield and a respiratory tract mask that is a respirator forms a tight seal around your nose and mouth it is also useful to minimize the inhal inhalation of smaller microbes such as tuberculosis bacteria and there is eye protection once you start uh, say for example even cleaning the car when you dust the truck or something immediately you close your eyes because the dust gets into your eyes so it is better that you ha have a eye protection and this includes face shields as well as goggles they can protect the mucous membrane of your eyes from bodily fluids if the fluids make contact with the eyes microbes within the fluid can enter the body through the mucous membrane and clothing clothing is important always when we are sweeping or mopping the door we do not have a flowing ground or we do not have a, a frill work with, with uh, uh, attached clothes. So we have to be convenient at the same time the contact between the clothing and the equipment we are placing should be minimal. So the clothing includes gowns, aprons, head covering and shoe covers. And uh, you may ask you where we should use PPE. That is PPE in healthcare settings especially you can use it in acute care long-term care outpatient care community care in sanitation you can use it during the cleaning process the housekeeping process and also the general upkeep maintenance of the entire cleaning activity the ppe is needed when contact with patients residents or clients that is why we call it as prc so here the patients or the residents uh, or the clients may not be there always in the sanitation area. Sometimes you, if you are involved in sanitation or upkeep of the cleaning activity in a hospital, they also have to be protected. So even compared to the normal person who can move out of a room while sweep, when it is being swept, the patients or the clients who, with special needs cannot move out so frequently the ppc environment certainly includes physiotherapy departments clinics and a physiotherapy treatment room in a long-term care facility so the guidelines which uh, are wear gloves when handling chemicals or body fluids wear safety shoes boots covers if hazardous or infectious substances are likely to splash 
wear an apron gown coveralls if hazardous or infectious substances are likely to splash and use a respirator that is when hazardous or infectious substances or air borne as it is in tuberculosis and wearing hearing protection for loud noises such as from equipment and remove ppp carefully that's personal protective equipment carefully to avoid contaminating yourself disposal of ppe in designated containers before leaving the area is also a must when you are using the personal protective uh, equipment and the selection of appropriate personal protective equipment it is important to consider the following factors in selection so type of anticipated exposure so how long you are going to be exposed to that particular activity such as from tough or surfaces touch or surfaces splashes or sprays or large volume of bodily fluids which may seep through the clothing say for example when you are cleaning a bathroom definitely the, not only the liquid from the floor or uh, the cleaning agents will uh, will splash on your clothes also so it you we can after cleaning the doing the toilet cleaning activity or restroom cleaning activity it is not safe to go and sit in the bedroom or in the couch in your hall so ppe selection or combination of ppe key that is personal protective equipment is determined by the category of isolation of the activity and also the patient being treated so during the appropriateness of the ppe for the task uh, the example is what gown or apron is selected if gown is required the type of gown is also important it should be fluid resident sometimes we don't like acids being spilled on our legs so we need to fully cover but at the same time while cleaning a tough stain surface but at the same time you cannot wear it again uh, without washing it so the purpose also matters a lot when you are choosing a ppe and the fitting ppe must be fit the individual user form a proper seal over us say for example gloves should not be too large or too small then it will compromise on the level of protection which is affecting the health care provider so you have to be careful in selection of the ppe so when when you see the hierarchy of controls first is elimination that is physically remove the hazard so suppose uh, in our home some uh, coconut we are uh, remove i mean removing the husk and we are breaking it and using it for our food purpose it is better that we dispose it immediately not pile it up once you pile it up insects will start to grow and water from the nearby region in the kitchen or in the store room will also prefer to go dampness will there and mold formation will be there so elimination is the first step then substitution so substitution is replace the hazard so how you can for example even in the kitchen nowadays they are asking us to grow a small plant in a bottle so that the oxygen in that room is increased and you can have engineering controls that is isolated people from the hazard uh, so suppose some sick people are there in our home you can take them away when you are cooking or sorting or frying or cleaning any uh, area or you can have uh, you can have a exhaust fan uh, to remove the uh, fumes which are coming while cleaning the Uh, stained area in the uh, restroom an administrative control that is change the way people work see many a time even in our home we should admit uh, we we would have seen somebody in our home who is responsible for cleanliness uh, uh, doing with bare hand so it is not safe that is what we are trying to say in this personal protective equipment always there should be a uh, intermediary between your physical structure and the object you are touching for cleaning and also the the agents or the detergents or the facilitators which help like broom uh, the brush and also uh, the uh, the various acids the the uh, the cleaning agents which you are using to clean the surface and 
protect the worker with personal protective equipment that is the prime uh, hierarchy uh, which is responsible for the health of the individual also and uh, ppe protects against the five basic elements that is the head and the feet the eyes the lungs the body the skin so the head and the feet the heart has to protect uh, uh, and uh, falling items like suppose whenever we go to a bath many a time uh, the shampoo bottle will fall on us and then we resort to sachet we will feel that it is not enough to wash our hair when it is very dirty or very oily so uh, uh, our cleanliness also gets affected by the way we store the agents for uh, which are responsible for cleaning and also the work boots or the shoes for ground level see in our culture also permits that we have to use different uh, shoes once you go home you have to leave the shoes outside uh, and inside you have to you are supposed to uh, wash in if you recall our earlier uh, grandfather's place and all there will be a small pot kept outside that is both for it is a portable water so it is both for drinking and also washing our hands and legs before entering the home and the eyes eyes are very important they it is uh, it is also the only thing which helps you to identify what is what and how to do when there is some uh, event to happen so safety glasses the goggles from particles the corrosive liquid sometimes if you have seen see now that the western closet has come when you are washing it with your brush sometimes it spills on your eyes so nowadays glasses becomes a mandatory part even in the cleaning process of our personal space in the home also the lungs the respirators employed to prevent breathing in contaminated air but in our home situation or in our uh, place of work where we are cleaning or uh, doing the sanitation our lungs do get affected that's why when you are doing the cleaning activity you have to drink lots of water and wash yourself before uh, um, uh, doing any other work and body especially the clothing to keep warm in cold condition and when uh, when you are using the external clothing for the, the sanitation purpose uh, definitely uh, it will not only it will get soil it will also affect our skin so if you have observed uh, the skin uh, after sanitation uh, being engaged in sanitation work uh, or cleaning activity definitely there will be some scratches or blisters uh, or some pain where when you press it it will pain but when you when there won't be any blisters so it is better a small uh, homemade remedies put any oil any edible oil over your hand and leg before uh, engaging in any cleaning activity and after finishing the cleaning activity uh, wash with a good soap uh, and or it, the vinegar and the uh, soda combination is also uh, a good combination of disinfectant and then put oil again because oil always helps us to get healed the invisible scars in in our uh, skin and the skin also is the uh, the uh, biggest organ in the body so even once for pain again it will affect our uh, involvement in the cleaning activity in the next cycle the seven basic protect types of uh, uh, personal protective equipment i just listed it and uh, i the picture shows uh, the head the eye i have given all the seven in all the seven slides so that we will know what is the previous cover and what we are going to cover in the next seven slides so if you are not attentive then uh, it will look that the slide is being repeated so the head protection is needed to protect the scalp area ppe includes safety helmets and hard hats to protect the workers against heavy material falling from a height or swing swinging objects in the workplace and head protection is highly required while performing the task in construction building repair work in ex ex uh, 
excavation or tunnels and driving water pipes. See, this we are, are taking the basic relevance of PPE uh, from industry angle and health for sanitation and cleaning purpose. So, we had when it comes to see, suppose you are not covering, if you have seen our grandparents or uh, even our parents, they used to tie a small cloth over their head when they are cobwebbing. Why? It is not just that the cobweb alone falls. Sometimes when you are dusting the shelf, uh, there are some object or some stone which we have kept, a paperweight or something, it may also fall. So nowadays there are disposable kits for um, head protection. So it is better that we use the, uh, the head protection. PPE when you are involved in an activity, even for the cleaning uh, or sanitation purpose. The next one is eye protection. So we have seen the head protection. Now the second one is eye protection. Usually workplace surroundings are filled with dust, gas, fumes and mist and include several eye protection methods such as safety spectacles, eye shield, safety goggles and face shields. To protect your eyes from loss of vision, sprays of toxic liquids, flashes and burns. So when it comes to see even when you ride a bike, you are more comfortable when there is a goggles on your eyes. Because you can see clearly and prevents a fast rush of wind and the mud which comes along with the dirt on hitting you on your eyes. And face shields are heavier than the equipment, but they protect your face and do not enclose your eyes. So we have to protect our eyes. Let's see oh, what is the carry home message. Personal protective equipment protects you from injury and illness. The, what are the items to be protected? The, uh, the organs in our body. So there are head protecting. PPE, that is personal protective equipment, the eye protecting, the next is ear protection. Hearing loss may occur while working in noisy surroundings and above the exposure action level. So ear muffs or defenders or ear plugs or canal caps protect the learner from workers from severe ear damage. And ear muffs cover the ear, ear plugs are inserted inside the ear canal and canal caps cover the out, outer part of the ear, protecting the ears and reducing the disc. So one of the thing is when you are uh, doing a lots of scrubbing work, sometimes you get irritated even in while eating, sometimes when your spoon touches the plate, we get irritated. So how, why it is so is the noise it irritates our ears. So wherever there is noise, like accumulation of dry leaves, uh, the accumulation of uh, bottles, the disposal, of course you are in, involved in beach cleaning or coastal cleaning, and you are dragging all the items and putting it in one place, then your ears also have to be protected. So we saw head protection, eye protection, um, protecting personal protective equipment, the ear protecting, personal protective equipment. Now, respiration. So, uh, the, uh, the hand and arm protection also helps while working with sharp uh, objects. The, uh, I, uh, the respiratory uh, protection is mainly for uh, the healthcare assistance. So, so, but for sanitation purpose, what you can do is you can uh, cover it with a um, mask it over your nose so that the dust doesn't get in. The next one is the arm and uh, hand and arm protection. So while working or handling sharp objects, suppose you are removing thorns from the ground, some bush you are clearing and you want to clean it and vibrating equipment, say like grass cutting equipment, uh, uh, ke chemical substances, uh, uh, like you are using the detergent or the toilet cleaners, uh, you need to cause, uh, it will cause hand cuts, sometimes fractures, sometimes skin burns, and sometimes it will pain inside because it's something has been absorbed through the skin. So hand protection like safety gloves uh, and wrist cuff, 
armlets are needed to avoid hand injuries and foot uh, foot protection leg injuries may occur from falling or rolling objects hot substances electrical hazards and slippery surfaces so like knee pads or boots you can wear it so that it is useful when it comes to uh, safeguarding yourself when it, uh, uh, while doing an activity then the full body protection the injuries may occur uh, to workers from extreme temperature flame and spark and toxic chemicals insect bites and radiation see this insect bites is common when you clean it so sometimes uh, we do, uh, it look like everything is neat but when you clean there will be small bumps on your uh, skin so you have to have a full body protection and uh, sometimes life jackets trousers vest clothing for hot and bad or bad weather clothing for handling machinery uh, also protect against the injuries so when it comes to wearing or removing we need to know two terms it is called doning and duffing of personal uh, protective and, and equipment so proper wearing removal and disposal is the responsibility of uh, wearing a ppe so you cannot say that i am doing the cleaning activity and after cleaning up everything you remove all their mask and throw it there and come no you have to dispose it so doning means to put on and use ppe properly to achieve the intended protection and minimize the risk of exposure doffing means removing ppe in a way that avoids self contamination so how you remember is doning means adorning you have to remember the words like that so it's putting on and removing is uh, doffing and then uh, follow strict doning and doffing procedures such as observer monitor method and hot or warm or cold zones for highly infectious agents and these are the tips which we, which has been given and i have taken it from the uh, uh, resource and uh, you can also visit it and be benefited the exclusion zone that is the hot zone is the area with actual or potential contamination and the highest potential for exposure of hazardous substances see even uh, manual scavenging uh, manual uh, clearing of drainage all are exclusion zone or hot zone the contamination red reduction zone or warm zone is the transition area between the exclusion and support service zones this area is where responders enter and exit the exclusion zone and where decontamination activities take place so the support zone or the cold zone is the area of the site that is free from contamination and that may be safely used as a planning and a staging area so how you are going to think uh, of where you are if we cannot say that uh, somebody is cleaning the uh, restroom and uh, i am safe when i just move around here and there no that is why even when we mop our home we say uh, all children to go to another room and we never let uh, people to come inside the room which has been mopped till it dries up and remove the ppe before entering any non clinical areas including restroom break rooms or administrative area so when it comes to health it is like that like uh, you are how safe when you are inside the personal protective equipment and always wash hands with soap and water before wearing and after removal of the personal protective equipment and dispose of all personal protective equipment in appropriate waste containers that is also needed so wash ppe is needed for sanitation workers see the the goggles to protect the eye from splashes of human waste or sewage the protective face mask or splash proof face shield to protect nose and mouth from splashes of human waste or sewage the liquid repellent coveralls to keep human waste or sewage off the clothing and the waterproof gloves to prevent exposure to human waste or sewage and what is the importance of personal protective uh, equipment training to employees 
see many a time we when we were small also we won't be knowing whether it is rain water uh, portable water or dirty water which is uh, in a puddle in the front of our home we'll be what we were interested in jumping into water we will jump into any water later we, we will be getting scolding from uh, the elders telling oh this is a drainage water why did you jump in and they will give us a good bath so we should know of what we have to and the training to employees or training to our uh, own people at home is also important when you have to protect them from the uh, risk of getting injury or illness so the ppe plays a vital role in risk control measures where the organization role is to give proper safety training to employees on personal protective equipment to improve the hazard control events at the workplace so this training helps the employee to use the personal protective equipment effectively and safeguard themselves while performing riskier actions in the workplace so it helps to improve employee confidence and satisfaction while working and ensuring a positive working in environment so the uh, safety assessment and training is also important that's why employers are made responsible for ensuring that proper ppe is available and used properly in the workplace that's why if you are in the nss or ncc or in working in any institution and responsible for outreach work somebody will be there always to give you instruction of what you have to wear uh, when you are cleaning a space um, or how you have to dispose those uh, the personal protective equipment after completion of the task assigned so that means it is up to you to select and provide the appropriate ppe make sure that it fits employees and ensure that they understand how to use it so a yeah, employer must also train employees on using ppe and as well as how to maintain and store it some of the gloves if you are not storing it for a properly reusable gloves it will become waste so financial resources mobilized to ensure availability of ppe is also has to be considered to ensure that it is sustainably used for the purpose it is meant so ppe and cleaning activity what are the things some message you should take home uh, because this uh, month we have got under the special campaign uh, cleaning activity campaign also so know which surface has to be cleaned whether it is kitchen cleaning or toilet cleaning or surrounding uh, your home cleaning the staircase cleaning or open space cleaning see we need not put so much effort as we are scrubbing at a uh, restroom cleaning as that uh, uh, we need not put the same effort for kitchen cleaning yes it will be dirty but it okay, it is easily cleanable uh, whereas when we, the uh, hall the uh, dining hall all that we can clean it clean, uh, easily with a broom uh, with a indoor broom whereas when you have to clean the outside of your home you need a different equipment itself and similarly staircase cleaning and the spaces in front of the bathroom yes it will lead to another room so if you uh, if you go one of the self check exercises i will give you is whether wherever you are working or in your home you just bend your uh, head to uh, to rest on your ne uh, neck shoulder and then you just see whether the floor has footprints if it has footprints both the bathroom and your floor is not clean and the person who entered and went has contaminated the area wherever he or she went so this is one small tip which you have to do as a take home work uh, and check for yourself how what is the status of the cleanliness of your home or the workplace protect yourself before engaging in cleaning process because you are you are needed for the next cleaning activity also so you have to protect yourself and the well being of the individual who is cleaning is also needed uh, after the cleaning process is successfully completed it's not 100 meter dash as you finish it that's all you exit no you have to be fit to do other course in your life 
and choose the personal protective uh, equipment depending on the activity. So if your activity is mild, it relates to uh, creating mud dust, then your eyes should be protected. If there is a lot of pulling down at, uh, and uh, um, your hands have to be protected of some branches or uh, dragging of some uh, mat materials to a collection area or removing of the black spot. Black spot is the always if you have seen the dustbin. Uh, the space around the dustbin will be more more dirty than the dustbin itself. And even when you see it is a natural natural instinct of any human being to sit in one place and throw the items. Have you seen people who are going in bike and throwing the dust? It will sometimes it is not only splash on the people around. It will also hit the dustbin. Uh, edges and get broken into uh, smaller pieces and fall the outside. So you have to choose the PPE depending on the activity. And personal hygiene after the cleaning of activity is important. That is why even if you are working in a uh, office setup where, is, where it involves a lot of uh, file handling, bills handling, definitely it would have passed so many hands before reaching you. So after engaging in this, it is better that you wash your hand with a detergent and then you clean, you clean, wipe yourself with a towel also. Similarly, the other is suppose you are involved in evaluation of ANSYS script we, uh, and it comes in big bundles. And we generally we keep uh, some of our refreshment items over that. It is not safe. Similarly, in our home, you take instant. The newspaper, we just dust it and keep it on the table and uh, keep our snacks over it and eat. That is also not right. And remember the five hours are waste management. The five hours are the set of principles that can help reduce waste and improve recycling programs. And it has an impact on the sanitation and the waste management also. So refuse, the expressing unwillingness to accept something reduce decreasing the size amount or extent of something and reuse use something more than once repurpose giving something a new use or purpose recycle recovering material for use by passing something through a series of changes or treatment so uh, the reusing the repurposing reduce refuse that is in common man's hand because recycle needs technological involvement. So before we end, we also thought that what is personal hygiene? Is the care for your body. This practice includes bathing, washing your hands, brushing your teeth, and many more which keeps you healthy. Some of us uh, even uh, you would have observed in a, in a era when there is tissue and lots of tissue work goes on, over uh, rubbing and throwing, when you put a splash of water, portable water on your face, it gives you more energy than uh, wiping your face with a tissue. So uh, your personal hygiene is also more comfortable uh, with the conveniences and more so with the liberal use of physical resources for the well-being. So water is needed, detergent is needed, and also a cloth uh, to wipe after uh, uh, the, uh, the cleaning activity of the self is also needed. And washing again the equipments which we have used, for example, the cloth, uh, the clothes which you have worn, the, the towel which was used after you have taken bath, all that is needed. And every day you come across in contact with millions of outside germs and viruses, they can linger on your body. And that's why even if, even if you wear the best expensive clothes at the end of the day, when you uh, when you remove your clothes and you by uh, smell your underarm, there will be smell. That is because of microbes. And some of some of the microbes they uh, rapidly uh, multiply. And uh, during the day also it gives a stink of a bad perspiration smell. So you have to. Uh, because the microbes linger on your body and in some case they can also make you sick. So that's why personal hygiene is very important. 
So thoughts on cleanliness. Cleanliness is next to godliness. So we cannot say uh, that uh, uh, without cleanliness there will be any uh, any activity in our home itself. See, suppose somebody is coming immediately, we clean. If some some festival is there, immediately we'll be cleaning our home. So also in our workplace. And do not worry about what you have to do. Concentrate on the task rather than the cause. So uh, suppose uh, uh, you have to uh, today see certain many of the cleaning activities are continuous. So even if you do the kitchen sink cleaning today, uh, tomorrow when you uh, again uh, the uh, the vessels are there in the kitchen uh, sink and it is clean, the sink has to be cleaned again. So uh, what we have to do, we have to do and concentrating on the uh, task rather than why it has been accumulated, etc., is not going to help you in any way. And periodic cleaning of certain spaces is important, whether you like it or not. And to set the time for cleaning each activity of the space, executing each of the cleaning activity. Sometimes we will uh, plan so well, but we won't execute it. So executing the cleaning activity is also necessary. And remember five hours, refuse, reduce, reuse, repurpose, and recycle. And the first four hours, the reduce, uh, refuse, reduce, reuse, repurpose are in common man's region. And personal protection while cleaning is a must because you are needed, uh, your well-being is needed, plus uh, the cleaning activity should not affect your health condition. And tiredness should not affect your person, personal hygiene. Many a time after cleaning, we feel like sleeping. And we happily lie down on the hall couch and sleep, uh, thinking that uh, we will get well. By then, the next work will come. And at the end of the day, we'll be realizing that whatever uh, items you have cleaned up, you are contaminated by your uh, poor personal hygiene. So let tiredness not affect your personal hygiene. And uh, Regional Center Coaching is also on Facebook page the YouTube channel and we are on the platform X and we are also on the Instagram and uh, acknowledgement is placed to authorities of WIGNU for facilitating to conduct this virtual meeting under the uh, under this cleanliness campaign and also under the innovation club activity because we have clubbed these two sessions together and uh, technical assistance for this program was rendered by Sri Muhammad Ansar AEDP the contents for the presentation has been taken from the website documented. We have documented the website so that you can be benefited by revisiting the website for your self-learning. Typesetting and back, uh, back office operations of this PowerPoint was facilitated by Madam Reshma Suresh. And uh, this uh, PowerPoint was also uh, prepared. Uh, for specific use and your use uh, for uh, subsequent uh, purposes also. And when we think of the various activities related to cleanliness, uh, we think of how it can be sustained, how it has to be sustained, how things have to be moved ahead in life. Uh, all matters a lot when it comes to cleaning activity. And I want to share one small life skill message related to the cleaning activity and how it relates to uh, to our issues also in personal life uh, and which can be which can have an impact on the official and social life also see when you have to throw a dust you have to throw it you cannot say oh it was generated by one of our favorite person so i have to protect it no so also people may, there will be some uh, uh, dust of uh, a verbal insult for physical insult also uh, in our life which will affect us physically which has an impact mentally and also in our output we have to throw it so dust is meant for throwing it's not just for cleaning activity but also in the various form it comes in our physical life which will affect our mental and physical and uh, social well-being also and you may ask, when there are so many dust coming in, then how I will move ahead? It's only having spiritual intelligence 
of trusting in God, uh, who is capable of making all bad things to work out for your good. So with this thought, uh, we are winding up the session on uh, uh, personal protective environment. And uh, we are keeping this page uh, of where we are in the Facebook, YouTube channel, the platform X and Instagram, so that you can visit us again and be benefited. And all the recordings of the sessions are available in uh, the YouTube channel uh, for your public viewing. Please be benefited. With this, I stop the session and we are open for any discussion on uh, the grievance related issues and we can move ahead further. Thank you, ma'am, for your wonderful and enriching session about the PPE. I'm sure our viewers would have got a basic idea about the protective equipments, which are which is very much essential in our daily life and can be put to use to ensure a safe and healthy environment for one and all. Now, <clears throat> I would also like to highlight the Swayam platform of uh, Swayam platform of MHRD, where in various courses online are available for our students. There are many skill-based courses as well. So our viewers who are interested can definitely apply for any of the Swayam related programs which are available on the MHRD website, uh, swayam.gov.in and can enroll for any of the courses free of cost. And uh, apart from this, uh, there are also uh, national education policy related programs NEP, which is also available for students and, and it is also available on the Swayam portal. So this was an additional information which I thought would be helpful to our viewers. Uh, apart from this, in case if any doubts, queries are there, we are open to uh, having the same questions. So on behalf of all, I come to an end of this session and on behalf of all, I wholeheartedly thank our resource person for today's session, Dr. J.S. Torati, Regional Director, Ikto Regional Center, Kuchin, for her uh, enriching talk about PPE and I'm sure it would have, uh, it has given enough food for thought for all the viewers who are viewing this session. Uh, next time, I'm also grateful to our, um, uh, our technical experts. Shri Mohammad Ansar and Ms. Teshma Suresh who have assisted in the technical conduct of this session and this session has been transmitted Facebook Live to live in Facebook page of Igno Regional Center Kuchin and viewers would have definitely watched the session live and this session would also be made available at the Igno Regional Center Kuchin YouTube channel. Kindly subscribe and subscribe to our Igno Regional Center Kuchin YouTube channel wherein more such enriching sessions have already been uploaded on this uh, channel. So uh, once again, thank you all for viewing this session from Igno Regional Center Coaching. Thanks one and all. Thank you.